if we move toward renewable energy, we're going to create more jobs, and they'll be safe jobs, and they'll be jobs with dignity, and it will allow people to have more democratic control over their sources of energy. That's Jane Fonda bringing some mega star power to this downtown march today, calling for an economy that works for both the people and the planet. Our Magda Gebrselesa was there. The call went out and an army of thousands came from all sides to march for jobs, justice and the climate. I feel like it's important to be able to represent human rights in general. I want us to be able to continue to live and I love the planet. It's a fight that even got the attention of Hollywood actress and activist Jane Fonda. First Nations, Woo! labor unions, working people, students. This is the kind of coalition that will make the difference. This coalition is fed up with the current economy. It isn't working to create jobs, it isn't addressing inequality, and it's making the climate crisis so much worse. So they're calling for a new one. An economy based on, on uh, new technologies, green technologies, and at the same time, uh, we'll be able to provide good paying jobs uh, and uh, wean ourselves off of carbon-based fossil fuels. Without change, they say the consequences will be catastrophic. Rafunzo Cornegut, who's originally from the Philippines, says she knows this firsthand. Her home was hit by a typhoon in 2012. The farm, the crops is gone, and then most of my friends and family died on this uh, Pablo typhoon. A phenomenon she blames on Canadian-owned mining corporations that she says are abusing natural resources, causing climate change. These protesters are hoping to send a clear message to the politicians, and the timing is crucial. This week in Toronto, an economic forum and a climate summit of the Americas are scheduled to take place. Naomi Klein says governments are not meeting the mark. If we take the science seriously, we need to be cutting our emissions by about 8% a year. That's not going to happen out of what we're hearing at those official summits. What government that says the economy is its highest priority can continue for over 10 years to ignore climate? Organizers say the time to act is now. And if the governments won't take the lead, the people will. Mark de Gebrselassie, CBC News, Toronto. Now, a powerhouse lineup of activists, including Jane Fonda, David Suzuki, and Naomi Klein, hit the streets of Toronto this afternoon. Their goal was to bring attention to climate change, employment, and justice issues. And as Lama Nicola reports, 10,000 other people rallied with them. Doing away with the fossil fuel-based economy will create more jobs, more democracy and more justice. Actor and longtime activist Jane message. Fonda is using her celebrity as a megaphone for change. When a big labor union that represents oil and gas workers comes to a climate uh, a rally in March, this is a um, game changer. So I, when I heard that this was going to happen, I said, well, I want to be there and, and help support it and amplify it. Thousands rallied on the steps of Queen's Park before they marched for jobs, justice and the climate. A rare coalition of unions, activists and First Nations groups calling for clean jobs and healthier communities. The drop in the price of oil has meant that a lot of workers are losing their jobs uh, in the tar sands uh, and they're seeing that their interests are not aligned with those uh, for-profit corporations. Their interests are more aligned with First Nations, um, with anti-poverty activists, uh, with green groups who know that we need a better and fairer economy. A broad and diverse demonstration with hundreds of groups and it comes just two days before the city hosts the Climate Summit of the Americas. And this is a Pan-American summit, Pan-American Games, so it's important that people from the Americas come here to raise their voices. One of Canada's loudest voices on climate change, David Suzuki, says it should no longer be the economy versus the environment. When we say, as our Prime Minister has, we can't do anything about climate change, it'll destroy the economy, we elevate the economy above the very atmosphere that keeps us alive. This is suicidal. This is insane. This is historic. This is very important because too many people think that you have to make a choice between the climate and the economy, that if we're going to shut down fossil fuel, we're going to ruin the economy, and it's not true. Fonda has never shied away from confrontation and says her sense of social justice comes from her father. She wants her grandchildren to be proud of her support of movements like this. Lama Nicola, Global News.
Hundreds of people gathered under that hot sun this afternoon for a mass demonstration ahead of the Pan Am Games. And that's because along with the athletes, there are also economic leaders and government officials who, are come, who will be coming to town for conferences this week. And protesters are hoping that their voices can be heard as well. As the Pan Am Games grabs the attention of North and South American countries, protesters here are hoping to grab the attention of the leaders of those countries. We're really doing this to kind of push our leaders to take stronger action. Hundreds of people met on the doorstep of Queen's Park, rallying on behalf of the environment, justice and employment issues. A rally that brought Hollywood star power in actress Jane Fonda. I'm here because I think that the coalition that is represented in today's march and rally is the kind of coalition that will make the difference. The demonstrators then marched to Allen Gardens, demanding that any conversation about the economy must also include climate change. The two, they believe, are linked. Demonstrators here say timing is key because along with the Pan Am Games this week are two international summits dealing with the economy and climate. It is a unique opportunity, but we're trying to push them even further. We're saying what the, what's on the table is not enough. But many feel those who matter simply aren't listening. I am not confident at all, but I am confident that this is the way we've got to go. And the more people we get, the more they're going to have to listen to us. Which is why Fonda is lending her voice. If I can in any way with my celebrity cause more people to hear their message, then that's good and that's why I'm here. And demonstrators say they will continue to be here and rally ahead of the Pan Am Games. There will be two summits in Toronto starting tomorrow, the International Economic Forum of the Americas and the Climate Summit of the Americas. Both of them take place at the Royal York Hotel. Demonstrators marched through the streets of Toronto this afternoon, rallying for jobs, justice and climate action. Anna Vlakos is live with a massive turnout and some star-studded support. Anna? Pam, there's going to be some performances happening on stage very soon here at Allen Gardens. You know, the march is over. The party is still going on, though, all to raise awareness on environmental issues. Issues, And as you mentioned, a Hollywood heavy hitter, hitter was here for today's rally to show her support. Renewable energy, doing away with the fossil fuel-based economy will create more jobs, more democracy and more justice and I'm here to support that message. Actress and environmental advocate Jane Fonda lending her star power at today's rally and march at Queen's Park to bring attention to the climate change crisis. Well the best thing to do is to try to get someone elected that isn't in bed with the fossil fuel industry. Many of our nursing Fonda giving a warm embrace to another well-known environmental activist, David Suzuki. I am against fossil fuels. I think the bulk of what we know about should be left in the ground. Today's march is for jobs, justice, and the climate. Rally goers want the government to create good, clean jobs and healthy communities. Like Germany, 400,000 jobs already exist from solar, so it's already being done in other parts of the world. It's been done here in Ontario. So we have to start moving away from the economy that we're in right now into something that's more sustainable and cannot be shipped offshore uh, at the same time as protecting our lands. Protesters are also calling for justice for First Nations, the poor and working class. And I know that all of these problems are connected from poverty to environment to justice and climate and uh, our policy needs to change to make a real difference. This is the, the kind of, of march that we want, want to be part of, right, because it's, it concerns to all of us. Now we have a small crowd here right now, but according to organizers, it's estimated more than 10,000 people took part in today's march and rally. And protesters are really urging people to put pressure on all levels of government to find solutions to the climate crisis. Live here at Allen Gardens, Anna Vlachos, back to you, Pam. Thank you, Anna. And does the star power so prominent at today's rally really make a difference? That's the subject of our web poll. We're asking, does celebrity involvement change your opinion when it comes to climate change? Have your say at citynews.ca. We'll have the results a little later in the show. 
Celebrity activist Jane Fonda joined thousands in Toronto this afternoon in a movement for a greener economy. We have to mobilize and build grassroots uh, people power to put pressure on politicians and then elect politicians that are going to be sensitive to that pressure because some don't give a damn. The march for jobs, justice and climate action wound its way through city streets. Well-known environmental activist David Suzuki also taking part in the rally to bring attention and to put pressure on all levels of government to look for solutions to what they call our climate change crisis. So do the words of celebrity activists hold any sway with you? Earlier we asked, does celebrity involvement change your opinion when it comes to climate change? Here are the results so far, just 13% say yes, 87% say no. Interact with us anytime on our website, citynews.ca. More than 10,000 demonstrators took to the streets in Toronto today in a march for jobs, justice and climate action. Among the activists calling for a greener economy was Hollywood movie star Jane Fonda. Anna Vlakos now with how the Hollywood heavyweight is helping in the fight to take climate change more seriously. <laughs> Renewable energy, doing away with the fossil fuel-based economy will create more jobs, more democracy, and more justice. And I'm here to support that message. Actress and environmental advocate Jane Fonda lending her star power at today's rally and march at Queen's Park to bring attention to the climate change crisis. Well, the best thing to do is to try to get someone elected that isn't in bed with the fossil fuel industry. Many of our nursing... Fonda giving a warm embrace to another well-known environmental activist, David Suzuki. I am against fossil fuels. I think the bulk of what we know about should be left in the ground. Today's march is for jobs, justice and the climate. Rally goers want the government to create good, clean jobs and healthy communities. Like Germany, 400,000 jobs already exist from solar, so it's already being done in other parts of the world. It's been done here in Ontario. So we have to start moving away from the economy that we're in right now into something that's more sustainable and cannot be shipped offshore. Uh, at the same time, is protecting our lands. Protesters are also calling for justice for First Nations, the poor and working class. And I know that all of these problems are connected from poverty to environment to justice and climate and uh, our policy needs to change to make a real difference. This is the, the kind of, of march that we want, want to be part of, right? Because it's, it concerns to all of us. And rally goers are urging people to put pressure on all levels of government to find solutions to our climate crisis. For more information about jobs, justice and the climate, head to our website citynews.ca. We'll have a link. At University and Dundas, Anna Vlachos, City News.